So this person stumbles along my channel. How the heck they got here, I have no idea. But they come in and they say, hey, you've got uh, 666 subscribers and you're tr teaching pre-trib. And then, <laughs> and so I go, yeah, well, I had 665 before and I'll have 667 later. And uh, he comes back with, well, I'm a Greek Orthodox Christian and we, and then he just goes into this thing and he gives me a link to a video. So the video is five years old. It's got a hundred likes and it's not from him. It's from somebody else who's talking about Iraqi Christians who are fearing the, uh, the Antichrist is coming. Um, oh boy, it is just, it's out there anyway. Um, you know, I told him, I said, you know, I'm looking for the blessed hope of Jesus. And I asked him, I said, you know, you should read for 1 Thessalonians 4.19. Start before that, though. That's even better. But apparently, in his mind, I guess the Lord's delayed his coming, so he's beating up his fellow servants already. Sad. You know, we talk about the blessed hope every week on Uptime. Um, I really hope you come because we have a great time there and we take your questions and um, we're looking for people all the time come on special guests I mean, we're kind of booked but we could have on more who knows anyway um, we get attacked though see you put yourself out there you say what you believe and you point to the scriptures they don't like it they don't like it. It's like a cult following, in a way, to say that we have no hope when that's all we have. <laughs> we do have the blessed assurance, and we have the blessed hope. Have a great night.